Hey guys, my name is Lakia Maria and welcome to another video here on my channel, Long Time No Chat. Whether you're new to the channel or an OG, I primarily share planning and organizational videos and today I'm going to be walking you guys through what my system has been for the past, I would say, solid month. What's made this system effective and what's my plan moving forward. So earlier in the year, I was using an a5 stalogy and i will have videos in the description box for you to check out how i set it up i have since downsized to an a6 system and this all came about very impromptu i have a journal that i have in my system and then this duo here so let's go ahead and get into the journal first. So this is an A6 Stalogy, and I started writing in this in 2022. I have a setup video on this. This is where I brain dump everything, how I'm feeling, what I'm liking, what I'm loving, what's working for me, what's not working for me, goals. It's just this common place to have it all. And this is where I also have more deco and it's just a more creative outlet for me than my actual planning system. So I'm glad I didn't throw this away. I had this in a box and I was like, you know what? I've moved down to this A6 system here. Why not pull out the Stalogy? And all I did to separate what I was doing in 2022 from 2023 is I just put a sticky note on a page to separate. And then anything that I was writing in this portion here that I wanted to make note of or like my thoughts are different because I do like to go back and read things and I don't feel the same way that I felt a year ago on certain topics that I wrote about in here. So I would write and I would either highlight or add sticky notes and the sticky note I would just put the year I didn't put the exact date on it, but I would just literally write directly on the page and highlight it with the color or put the sticky note. I'm fine with having sticky notes in here as well. I don't know how chunky this is going to get, but I know for sure that this could very well carry into 2024, but for sure for the rest of 2023. And I've just really been enjoying using this. So this is my creative outlet. And then this bag that I got off of Amazon has like all of the things that I'm using right now. I'm not really using any functional stickers, which I'll talk more about in a second, but sticky notes are imperative. And then I have my doll stickers. This is just a photo book that has stickers in it. A lot of the doll stickers are from a day's and co.com, Coco's Vision, Goldmine and Coco. And I think I have some from Capital Chic. Yeah. And then also Isis Ella Jewel. So I'll be sure to link those shops in the description box for you to check out. And then I also have my favorite pen of all time, which is the Sharpie Edge Gel. And then I have a random big one in here, my mild liners. And I have some washi tape. I just threw stuff in this bag. Washi tape, regular tape, double stick tape, you know, adhesive, glue. And then my HP sprocket, which I love. I am going to have to buy some more sheets. This is my last pack, but I will have this linked below as well if you're interested. And this actually here is an HP sprocket thing. I just printed right off my phone. So anything that jumps out to me online, my grandmother sends me things all the time via text message and I'm able to print those out and I have a two by three size. So some things I will print bigger, some things are smaller, all depends. Now for the planner system that I am using, this was under $10. This is actually a dollar notebook from Walmart that I used a rubber band to join together. And then this is the Blue Sky Planner that I got from Target. And this is what the weekly looks like. Again, I don't put any stickers in here because I'm literally just checking. I'm literally just 
checking things off and highlighting what needs to be highlighted. Like that's, that's what I've been doing with this system and it's been working well. I did add a tab at the top of the page just so that I can flip to the page that I'm on quicker. But honestly, I just write in what I need to get done. And that's that. It's been working so well. I realize that stickers are a bit of a distraction for me and I feel like my spreads need to be more perfect and aesthetically pleasing. And that's not the function of the planner for me. It, it just, I feel like now that I have a system in place of just writing and checking things off and I'm bringing this with me more so often, that was another issue that I was having and having an A5 is that it's so big that I wasn't bringing it with me all the time to actually use as a tool. And I would keep lists in my phone, sure, but this is all the difference. Now for the days that I need a longer list or just things to reference, that is where this notebook comes in because I was just using this. And then I remembered that I had these notebooks. This is a Coco Vision sticker. This sticker is from, I think, Shein. I think it's from Shein possibly Amazon. And then this one is either from Shein or Amazon. Again, check out the description box for more information. So what I've been putting in here are video ideas, to-do lists, like this goes back to July before I was even using this really. So I just have sticky notes on sticky notes of different projects. I did have like a journaling page in here um, that I'm actually probably gonna rip this out and put this in my a6 and then just more to-do lists more reference information um yeah just random lists of things i needed to buy at the store things i was returning um things i'm selling and there's still plenty of paper here for me to work with. So this system has been working perfectly and I can either flip this on the front, flip this on the front, doesn't matter. When I'm writing in it, if it's on this side, I just flip the notebook underneath so it's like more of a flat durable surface. And it's been working great. I've really been enjoying it. And I realize that I keep gravitating back to a similar type of system. As long as there's a list, understanding your writing style and your planning style is very important. I am a lister, I need a list. So a horizontal planner is not gonna work for me. Even though this is kind of like a horizontal planner, as you can see, you have a checklist here and then you can put whatever you want over here. So if I have like a note of reference, something that's planned, like an event or something or a work event or whatever the case may be, something that's more planned will go on this side and then my actual task will go in the to-do section. And again, if the days are longer, I will revert to this notebook and jotting things down. I do still have lists in my phone. That's not going to change. But the biggest thing has been implementing a journal back into my system because I was trying to put it in this notebook and I'm like, no, I have this A6. Let's use it. So here they are, my trio, and I'm very, very happy with the size. I didn't think that I'd be downsizing to an A6 for like a full planner system, but that's what it is. So I have so much more that I would like to go in depth with my current system. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Let me know what you're using currently as a planner. Are you all digital? Are you not planning at all? Are you still paper planning? Let's chat. Be sure to check out all the links in the description box for more information on previous planners that I'm using, all the links to the products that I've mentioned in this video and so much more. Other related videos, if you're still trying to look for your planning style, using something bigger or smaller, I have a lot of videos that will help you with that. Also just using a plain notebook to plan because you don't need anything fancy. I would love for you to stick around. Please hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys really soon in the next one. Bye.